Hello and welcome back to In The Kitchen With Pen. Now, Easter was last weekend and I cooked a full roast dinner and we had guests. So I had a rather large leg of lamb, which didn't fit into any of my air fryers. So I had to switch the oven on. Big mistake. Our electricity usage was ridiculously high for that day. We have a monitor so we can see. We did nothing else different except use the big oven. Okay, now Steve has been saying for ages, do you want one of these? And I'm going, no, no, don't need it, don't need it. Well, after the um, realising how just how much having this big oven on cost, we decided, yes, we will get one of these. What is one of these? I'm sure some of you have guessed, but let's come and take a look. Yep, one of these is a Ninja 10 in one oven. And it will take a turkey of the size that Steve and I would have, even if we had visitors, and it will most definitely take the leg of lamb that I cooked on Sunday. So, we bought it. It was, yeah, £270 from Curry's. It's heavy, it is heavy. So this is where it's going to live. I'm not fiddling around with things. So I thought, well, let's have a little try. Now, normally my first try with any air fryer is chips, but this, I shall switch on. I think it's not on at the mains. Let's switch it on at the mains. Here are all the functions. We have, let's start at the top, we have, yeah, let's start at the top, she says. We have grill, we have air fry, we have whole roast, and by whole roast, that's when you're doing a joint of something. We have roast, which is roasting um, chops and potatoes and things like that. We have bake, we have pizza. We have a toast function, we have a bagel function, we have a reheat and we have a dehydrate function but I want to go back to the toast function. Toast, how many slices? I can cook nine slices and then we have this thing called shade. So do we want it very pale, sorry, do we want it very pale, which is one, or do we want it quite dark, which is seven. So that's rather clever. It also tells you that I need to use rack level three. So one, two, three, we'd be down there for toast. Or is it one, two, three? I'm going to have to check that out, aren't I? Um, but what I thought, and this, it, this, when you're cooking, you do preheat except on toast and bagel, and it preheats in 90 seconds, not the 20 odd minutes that this big oven takes, 90 seconds. I'm loving it already. So what I thought, it's, you know, we've just gone Easter, I'm going to try a couple of hot cross buns in here and uh, well we will see how they 
uh, cook basically and um, yeah level three is at the so we've got one two three level three is here actually we'll see how they cook so let's get started I already have because I have actually sliced the buns already This is your air fryer basket. This is your roasting basket but tray. You never use this tray without sitting on this one, but you can use this one as a standalone. This is your crumb tray. It must be in situ at all times. So one, two, three, let's bring this one down. I'm going to put our buns in. We have a an apple hot cross bun, which smells amazing, and a regular hot cross bun. So shut the door. Let's go to bagel. And we have two slices. Oh yeah, one, two. This is, you know, I'm learning. I'm learning. This is the first time I've cooked with it. Bagel. So, base bagel slices cut side up on the middle of the wire rack. Okay, so let's get them in the middle. Okay. And I think we will go four, which is what it's on. So, let's just press start. I can hear it. Very quiet. Um, we'll be back when they're cooked. I was actually a little concerned that they wouldn't get toasty because, well, there we are. They've cooked. Um, but. The reason was because I could see these bottom elements heating up, but I couldn't really see the top. So let's open them up. Oh my gosh. Open up and take a little look. I mean, well, they're toasted enough, I believe, for anyone's liking. But proof of the pudding in the eating so I'll get them buttered and we'll have a taste right we are cooked we are buttered so I've brought a little visitor to taste test and as I said to you, one was apple and one was traditional and we've got half of each each. So that's Steve's side and that's mine. So let's go for it. I mean, fruit. You can hear crispy on the bottom, which is what they say they do for a bagel. And that's the option I used. We know what these buns taste like but it's how the ninja cook them. In the words of a very wise man, it just works. Very nice. There's not a lot else to say, but the fact that I have the different browning options, which I know you get on a toaster, but you don't get on a grill because you have to look, is perfect. The fact that it does up to nine slices of toast, I'm not quite sure how big the bread would be, but nine slices of toast. My grill, if I'm lucky, will do six. So, and I can go, I want it almost burnt, or I want just warm bread. Perfect. So, darling, I think that's a success. Yeah, very good. Very good. Right then. Thanks for watching this episode of In the Kitchen with Pen and Chief Taster Steve and we shall see you all again. Oh, hang on, I nearly forgot. Keep cooking. We'll see you all again very soon. Bye bye.
for watching this edition of In The Kitchen <laughs> with Pen and sometimes Steve. If you'd like to see more of our cooking and review videos, then click here. But if you'd really like to help the channel grow and subscribe, please click here. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye. Oh, yes. Keep cooking. Right, send that to me.